great to have you here, sir. Listen, blessed to meet you because you kind of provided me with some experiences in terms of watching you perform, succeed, just fall short, succeed again. It's kind of been a journey. Tell me about that. It has been a journey and life is a journey. Um, and it's, it's never guaranteed to always be a smooth one. I've been very blessed um, in life to have great parents who took me through this and uh, have always guided me to the right places. And the Olympics itself, I enjoyed every single contest. Um, even the final, I was having a time in my life I loved being out there performing, showboating, uh, kicking butt. I won't say the other word because I don't know where this is going to go out to, but um, I had a time in my life. And although the result wasn't quite what I wanted, I still keep a positive attitude. Um, I'm still young, I'm still fly, I look sharp, I feel good. I've got many years ahead of me and that gold medal will come eventually. Well, let's talk about that. 2020? Is that, is that a possibility? Yes, sir. That's a, that's, it's an eventuality, not just a possibility. I am fully confident in myself. Coming so close in Rio, um, I was already confident, but it's given me even more confidence knowing that um, it's right there. So um, I do believe that it's, uh, it's destined to happen. And I know I'm going to put the hard work in. I have a great team around me, um, including my mother and my father, who uh, are a constant rock for me. And uh, I trust and believe in God. So um, God willing, 2020 will be my time to take the gold medal. You're here at the Better Awards uh, this evening. Tell me about the significance of the awards like these. I think um, growing up, the people I looked up to most looked like me. Linford Christie, Michael Johnson. My favorite books were by a lady called Mallory Blackman, a uh, great black author. So having events like this that celebrate the achievements of black uh, and ethnically diverse people, we've contributed so much to this country, but our achievements aren't always celebrated on the same level. So to have events like this, I think, is a wonderful thing uh, to promote, to highlight our brilliance, and hopefully send a message to young um, little boys and girls that, um, uh, yeah, hopefully send an inspir inspirational message down to young uh, boys and girls because that's what it did to me. When I used to see Linford tear up the track, I thought, yeah, I would like to do that one day and here I am today. So it's, um, I think it's a wonderful event. Tell me about your sporting, your most significant sporting highlight of the last 12 months across any sport, not just yours. Hmm. That's a really good question. Uh, what's happened in the last 12 months? I loved... I love seeing Anthony Joshua win the heavyweight championship of the world. I was with him in the village in 2012, and to see where he's come to in four years, I think it's been a spectacular journey. Um, so I'll say that's definitely been one of the highlights. Um, obviously at the Olympics, um, I think seeing Usain Bolt p potentially compete at his last Olympics, what he's done um, has been amazing. And if that's the, the last Olympics, that was, a, that was a great way for it to go out. Uh, and for me, probably, if we're going to look a British perspective, seeing Mo Farah do the double again. That was, uh, what he's done has been absolutely incredible. I know he's up for um, sports uh, man of the year like me, but um, he's, a, he's a, an inspiration to me, a great athlete. And um, yeah, I hope he does it again in 2020, because that's when I'm going to do it. <laughs> I think he'll retire before then. Listen, have a great evening. Thanks for your time, really appreciate that. Absolute pleasure. Thank you.